Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Um, so today I thought it would be quite a nice idea to go through some of the new products and equipment that I have accumulated over the last couple of months um, just to show you guys really because it's, sometimes it's interesting. If it's not, I'm sorry, I won't do this again but if it is then you know this might become a regular feature. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is, if you follow me on my other social media you may have seen that recently I became an instructor on Faber TV. I launched my very first class over there, um, which is so exciting for me. I've wanted to teach on Faber TV for the longest time, so to finally be able to do it was a really, really big achievement. So for those of you that don't know what Faber TV is, Faber is Face and Body Art TV, which is basically, it's an online subscription service, and it's run by Heather from Silly Farm, and on there, there is so much information. So classes are taught by literally the leading instructors in the world. You've got Nick and Brian Wolf, you've got Mark Reed, there's Ginny, there's Jay, there's Dutch, there's Matteo. Classes by all these artists that you look up to and have aspired to be like are on there and it's incredible. I actually went on there this morning and they do have a deal on at the moment. By the way, this isn't sponsored. I'm not getting paid to talk about Faber TV. I'm just talking about it because I'm on there now. You can buy subscriptions monthly, six monthly and yearly. They do have a deal for um, a six month subscription and a year subscription at the moment. I don't know how long that is gonna last, but that is such a good deal. If you think about it, generally a class over in the UK with a face painting instructor is around the 225 pound mark. If you're gonna subscribe to this for a year, I did the exchange rate and it converts, the $200 currently converts to around 160 pound. So for a little bit more, you get a year's access. Now's the time I feel like we're all stuck at home, we all want to paint but we can't. Now's the time to be practicing and upping your game and while we're all stuck in, what better thing to do than learn? So I would advise you go and check it out. It's really, really worth it. Now, while we're on the subject of talking about practicing, I wanted to show you these that I was sent by Sparkling Faces. So you may have seen these before. A lot of people use them because they're so fantastic. So these are practice boards by um, Svetlana from Sparkling Faces. They are plastic, they're wipe clean, they come in so many different versions. I've got the little sheet here that you can see. So there's lots and lots of different styles. You've got sideways faces, front on, you've got bumps to paint, arms, loads and loads of choice. And they're really, really good. One good thing I've seen people use them for is display boards. Sometimes you might find it hard to take pictures of children at events because you're so busy. You might not have a lot of models at home. So these are amazing. You can paint these up um, and you can take photos of them and then print them out and put them on your display board. Or, I mean, if you purchase enough of them, you can just paint straight onto them. This has been painted for months and it hasn't come off at all. Obviously, if it got wet, or I used a wipe, it's gonna come off, but currently it's fine. And this one as well, I painted this months ago and it's on here. So I have been asked what they're like to paint on, like are they as good as real skin? They're, I don't think there's ever gonna be a substitute for real skin. They feel very different to painting on an actual person and it did take me a little bit, probably one or two tries before I you know, really got the technique of painting on it because they're quite slippy. It, it's not like slidey in that the paint won't stick to it. The, the paint applies beautifully, but it's a lot, smoother to paint on so it did take me a couple of tries to get it but once once you've cracked it it's it's really easy i would recommend them like for practicing designs um if you've got designs in your head and you want to keep trying it out to make sure you get it right but you don't want to keep painting it on yourself these are so good for that and also svetlana from sparkling faces has also launched some brushes she's got so many brushes i can't believe how many there are now, due to lockdown, I haven't used all of them, so some of them are still in their packet. The ones that I have been using, I've used this angled brush here, um, and the smaller one, and they're both lovely. My favorite, is, and that's really nice as well, the round number three, but my absolute favorite is this one. So this is the liner number one. This is incredible. I've never found a brush that I liked so quickly. It takes me a little while to sort of you know, really warm to a brush, but this one went straight into my top five. Talking of brushes, my lovely friend Leanne Courtney has also launched some brushes as well. She very kindly sent these over from Australia for me to try. Again, I haven't used them yet because there's no one to paint. So I'm, I'm saving these until we are allowed back out. But look at the color of those, beautiful. So in her little set, 
there are three brushes. There's an angled brush, which was, is gonna be perfect for like that outlining of a butterfly, a filbert brush, and also, this is the one I'm most excited about, a petal brush. Currently, I'm using the Face Painting Shop Flora number eight, which is lovely, like, I, I love that brush. This one's slightly bigger, so I'm excited to give that a try. And she's also sent me this so this is the double palette this has got the tropical and the butterfly palette in one i was thinking maybe i could do a swatch video if anyone would be interested if that's something you'd like to see let me know down below and i'll get that filmed i'll save it for then so you can see the the first test but isn't it just beautiful the other paint i wanted to talk about is this one now i used this in my rainbow butterfly video a few months ago this is called serendipity and it's by Face Paint Australia. This is the first paint actually from them that I've ever tried. Um, I bought this one myself, I wasn't sent this one. But it's so lovely. Look at those colours. Now normally with neon rainbows, well not normally, but often with neon rainbows, they look really, really bright in the packet and then when you go to use it, they're very wishy-washy and they're kind of all muddy together. This one, no, this one is completely different so the colors really stand out on their own they all blend beautifully into each other that blue and that yellow blend to make a lovely lovely green that end part there the pinks and the purples just look so pretty so i would highly recommend this so i hope that was interesting it may have been it may not have been let me know <laughs> if it wasn't and i won't bother doing any of these anymore but if it was then um maybe we could do this you know every few months or so and i'll go through what i'm enjoying Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Goodbye!